a word and it shall not stand, uh, for the Lord is with us. Open your mouth. Say, my father, my father. My I father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name every of Every association Jesus. of wickedness, every, every association of destiny of destroyers every around me, around my family, around my ministry, around, around family, business, around, family, around, family, around, family, family, around what around you have entrusted in my hands, around, around my children, Jesus, whatever, oh mention it. Same, oh God of heaven, let them break into pieces. Break them into pieces. Break them into pieces. Break them into pieces. Tell God to break them. We are standing on the word of God. Break them into pieces. me. Oh Against God of heaven, break them into pieces. Break them into pieces. Break them into pieces. Break them into pieces. Break them, break them, break them, break them, break them, break them, break them. The Lord is breaking them into pieces for you. As you pray, so it is in the name of Jesus. Amen. Break them in pieces in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Welcome to Omega Fire Ministries Bronx Branch. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. the Lord. Today's Hallelujah. service is called Divine Solution Service. That's the theme. But the Hallelujah. title is different. Divine Amen. Solution Service. Where we use the word of God, the scriptures, pray with the scriptures relating to a particular story, relating to a particular problem. Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? That is my Amen. ministry. Use the scriptures, pray with the scriptures concerning a particular problem, a, co a particular community. It could be anything. Anything happening to you has happened before. Whatever you don't know is does not exist. Praise the Lord. That I is know. the purpose of the Bible. So on this platform, it's called Divine solution service hallelujah divine Amen. solution service what we we get our solution from god and i can guarantee you god has given me a lot of revelations and solutions and we they are real and so will he give them to you Things that you don't know what to do. You have prayed, you have fasted, you have given, you have turned around, you don't know what to do. You have gone from post to post, north to south, east to west. The Lord, through this platform, will give you answers. Amen. Say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So amen. the solution is not from me. I'm just a vessel that God will use in your life. Hallelujah. To give you amen. solution. Whilst you are on, please send the link to your friends. Send the link to your friends. Send the link. Send the link. Send the link. Be nice. As you are sending the link, you are ministering. You are ministering. You are doing, you are evangelizing. You are becoming a media evangelist. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We thank give you. you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. For your word in Jeremiah 33 verse 3, it says, call on me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which are yet to come. Lord, we are calling on you this day. Your children, we have no one else to talk to but you. Therefore, we ask that we will not leave this line the same way we came. In the mighty name of Jesus, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Alpha and Omega, let your glory be seen. Let who you are be seen. Let every other power go down for your sake. Let every other noise maker go into extinction. Holy Amen. Spirit, come and take control. Holy Spirit, come and do what only you can do. Come and speak through me. I decrease myself, increase yourself in me. Lord, Amen. by the end of today's sermon, let yokes be broken. Let Amen. chains be broken. Let Amen. curses be nullified. Amen. Let destinies be restored. Let Amen. your blessings abound. Let Amen. your glory be seen. Let Amen. the sick be healed. In Amen. the name of Jesus, let those that 
have are double minded let them receive focus let anyone who has let burdens be lifted any burden on anyone lord by your visitation this day let burdens be lifted in the mighty name of jesus amen by the power of the holy spirit by the word of god yes lord we are online according to your word john in john chapter 4 verse 24 it says that the time will come and the time is now that true worshipers will worship you in spirit and in truth lord that's all you require of us you don't require of us to be in a specific place you just require of us that wherever we are gathered we should give your heart to you we have gathered before you and we're worshiping you in spirit and in truth in the name of Jesus, we ask for your visitation. We ask for your presence. Your word also in Psalm 107 verse 20, it says, He sent forth his word to heal them and they were healed. Lord, as we are not, we don't have a personal contact, one-to-one -one touch. Let this your word that we are about to share, let your word go forth and heal them. Let your word go forth and manifest in their life let your word go forth and do some for you are you are a spiritual god you are in the spirit therefore let your word travel in the spirit to your children whoever dialed up whoever will dial up later whoever will listen to this word let your word manifest in their lives and let your name be glorified we thank you abba father we give you all the praise we give you all the honor I dip this whole building in the blood of Jesus. By the blood, blood of, of Jesus, Jesus, I subdue every altar that will try to interrupt this service. I subdue them. I subdue powers. I subdue principalities. I subdue rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places that will try to interrupt your word. From Genesis to Revelations, no power has overcome your power. And therefore, this day, they cannot overcome us. We decree that we are more than conquerors. We thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Omega Fire Ministries Divine Solution Service. Hallelujah. Let's Amen. appreciate God. Thank God for bringing you online. Thank him. Thank him for bringing you online. Hallelujah. Just thank him wherever thank you, you are. Just say thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank, thank you, Lord. You, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please send the link. Share the link. Thank share the link. Lord. Please share thank the link. Jesus. Hallelujah. Share thank the link. You, share. Be kind enough to share the link. Don't worry. Don't thank be nervous. You, it's the Holy Spirit. Is we have no power. It is God. Share the link. Share the link whilst you are on there. Share the link. Hallelujah. You, in Father. Jesus' mighty name. Now let's Amen. appreciate our Father in the Lord, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, and appreciate grace. our Mother in grace, the Lord, grace, 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 Dr. Grace, Lizzie grace, Johnson grace, Suleiman. Grace. I appreciate God. Grace, I appreciate grace. God. Let's appreciate grace. God. Hallelujah. Also, Amen. let's thank God for myself and my family. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's thank God. Hallelujah. This work of God is a dangerous job. If God is not Amen. behind you, trust me, you will not get far. We thank God for what he's doing, what he has done. Just thank, thank God for Lord. myself. Thank God for my family, thank my you, household. Lord. Thank God. For thank God for divine provision, family. divine preservation, divine thank protection, you, divine direction. Father, we thank you. We give thank you all the you, praise. Jesus. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. In Jesus' you, mighty Jesus. name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because it's Hallelujah. online, I'll need your interaction a little bit so that I'll know that the phone is working. So please pay attention as if you are in church. Angels are watching. It's not me. God is where you are. Hallelujah. So please amen. be diligent in your dealings with god amen. Amen. amen 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 please lift up your bibles <laughs> i can i can see that 
Lift up your Bibles wherever you are. Lift up your Bibles. Hallelujah. If you have your Bible, say amen. 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 Anybody else? Only one person has their Bible. Amen. 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 We're going amen. to read First Kings chapter 20, verse 1 to 2. First Kings chapter 20, verse 1 to Sorry, 1 to 12. Or we can read 1 to 7 and continue. We can do all at once so that we take it from there. And I read, And Ben-Hadad, the king of Syria, gathered all his hosts together. And there were 32, 30 and two kings with him, and horses and chariots. And he went up and besieged Samaria and warred against it. And he sent messengers to Ahab, king of Israel, into the city, and said unto him, Thus saith Ben-Hadad, Thy silver and thy gold is mine, thy wives and also thy children, even the goodliest, are mine. And the king of Israel answered and said, My lord, O king, according to thy saying, I am thine and all that I have. And the messengers came again and said, Thus speaketh Ben Hadad, saying, Although I have sent unto thee, saying, thou, thou shalt deliver me thy silver and thy gold and thy wives and thy children, yet I will send my servants unto thee tomorrow about this time, and they shall search thy house and the houses of thy servants. And it shall be that whatsoever is pleasant in thy eyes, they shall put it in their hand and take it away. Then the king of Israel called all the elders of the land and said, Mark, I pray you, and see how this man seeketh mischief. For he sent unto me for my wives and for my children and for my silver and for my gold. And I denied him not. And all the elders and all the people said unto him, Hearken not unto him, nor consent. Wherefore he said unto the messengers of ben -Hadad, Tell my lord, the king, all that thou didst send for thy servants at the first I will do. But this thing I may not do. And the messengers departed and brought him word again. And ben Hadad sent unto him and said, The gods do so unto me, and more also, if the dust of Samaria shall suffice for handfuls for all the people that follow me. Verse 11. And the king of Israel answered and said, Tell him, let not him that gathered on his harness boast himself as he that put it on. And it came to pass. When ben Hadad heard this message, as he was drinking, he and the kings in the pavilion, that he said unto his servants, Set yourselves in array. And they set themselves in array against the city. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know, maybe someone on this line knows about this story. But today we are going to look at a spirit called the spirit of the emptier. The spirit of the emptier. Praise the Lord. A lot of you work, but you don't see the returns. Hallelujah. Some of you have bought lands. And when you, are, you go back to the land, only for another person to be standing there demanding what belongs to you. Praise the Lord. That's the spirit of the emptier. Some of you have gold, have silver, have good inheritance. But when you went back to check up on what you thought you had, there was nothing there. Some of you have bank accounts that never get full. Every time it's about to fall, something else comes to take it. The owner of the bank account, spiritual owner, comes to take 
your your money from your bank you keep wondering what's going on here that's the spirit of the emptier hallelujah the place the scripture where we read there was a king called ben Hadad. he was a king of syria and there was another king called ahab who was the king of um Sam samaria ahab was sitting in the palace only for messengers to walk into the palace to tell Ahab that, well, King ben Hadad sent us to you, that your silver and gold belongs to him, that you should give your silver and gold to him, just like that. And Ahab foolishly, Bible says he was living in sin at that time. He told them, okay, no problem. I will give my silver and gold to King Ben Hadad. And then they said, Well, not only that, not only your silver and gold, but also your children and your wives. Ahab said, Yes, okay, no problems. Oh, my children and wife, I'll give it to, I'll give it, I'll give everything to him. Beloved, the spirit of the emptier does not stop is a never ending spirit until you stop that power the spirit of the emptier is a kleptomaniac spirit it's a covetous spirit a spirit that takes what does not belong to it what belongs to you that power when it, that arrow when it's sent to a person comes for what belongs to you you will think that Powers will not touch what belongs to you because it's yours. It does not work like that. And the Lord said, what is fighting his children now is the spirit of ben Haddad. When you go to Ghana now, they say, ah, land matter is different. No, when you buy land, you have to build at once. Why? When you buy a land, you have to build when you want to build. But because of the spirit of Ben Haddad, when you buy a land, you have to make a wall right away. You have to make a watchman a, a house right away. You have to build right away. If you don't build, Ben Haddad comes in and takes the land. This is what the children of God are going through now, says the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, as if that was not enough, Ben Haddad said, okay, I'll give you my silver and gold. Uh, my children and uh, my wives, our wives, you can have it. Bible says Ben Hadad, uh, sorry, Ahab said that. Bible says Ben Hadad sent men again say, hey, tomorrow by this time, I am sending men to your house, to your, your palace, to march around, to, 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 to scap the whole place and take anything good from you. That is the spirit of the emptier. When you are working hard and you realize you keep losing good, good things, you keep losing valuable things, it doesn't make sense. You have to stop and, and start warfare. Am I talking to somebody? This mm -hmm. is the spirit, the spirit of Ben Hadda, the spirit of co covetousness and kleptomania. Bible says in John chapter 10, verse 10, that the thief cometh to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And with the spirit of the emptier, which is the spirit of Ben Haddad, you cannot be nice. Wherever you are, if somebody is sitting by you, tell the person that, my dear, stop being nice, stop being nice, stop being nice. My dear, stop being stop nice. Stop being nice. Stop being nice. When powers are stop after nice. you, stop being stop nice being and nice. stop taking things cool for granted. This is why Jesus said we should pray without seasoning. Stop being nice. Ben Ahab was trying to be nice, thinking that when he meets him, you know how they say you attract more with honey? Evil spirits, you cannot, you attract death with honey when it comes to evil spirits. Praise the Lord. When there is a, an evil arrow released against you, you attract more torture. It is only the good, uh, the power of God. Say, so, oh, let me be nice so that they'll be nice. Mm -mm. When you are nice, Bible says that 
when the demon leaves a place and goes and comes back, that demon brings back seven stronger spirits. You need to know your Bible. You need to know the scriptures. The reason why a lot of you are where you are is because of being nice. It's because you say, oh, let me be nice. He, he has done it once. And let me be nice so he will change. It doesn't work like that. Bible says, as soon as Ahab said, uh-uh, uh-uh, you, 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 you're going too far, Bernada. Go and tell your, uh, the king, King Bernada, that I, I can't do that. He asked for silver and gold. I said, okay. He asked for uh, my wife and children. I said, okay. But to come and now take, scavenge, scout the whole palace and take any valuables, I think that's insane. That is the spirit of the emptier. The spirit of the emptier does not want you to have anything. What you have that you think you don't have anything, that spirit wants it. Am I talking to somebody? You, you are so ungrateful. You think you, God has not done anything to you. And so you don't want the spirit of the emptier, the spirit of Ben Haddad wants that little one you have. But I pray for someone at the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus, connecting to the grace of God upon my father. Every spirit of the emptier that has followed you to this day, today they go to permanent extinction. They Amen. go into permanent extinction. They Amen. go into permanent extinction. They Amen. go into permanent extinction in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. As soon as Ahab said no, then Ben Hadad got angry and said, All right, then I'm sending my troops to you. When my troops come to fight you, the earth, your land will not hold my truth. That is the spirit of the emptier. That is the spirit of the covetousness. How? As soon as you be giving, 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 giving. The day you say no, that's the day fight comes. The day you say no, that's the day hell breaks. Praise the Lord. Why? Because when you say no, you are going to have some inheritance. You are going to have some, some things left. The spirit of the emptier does not want you to have anything. Wants you to go into permanent debt. Demand, demand, demand. You even borrow and give to, the, to, to, to whatever you are doing. You keep, when God says, thou shalt not borrow, thou shalt be lenders and not borrower, the spirit of the emptier goes into a person's life and makes the person a borrower. It will not be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, the name again above every other name, any power that has entered into your life to make you a borrower, today be delivered in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Be delivered in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Be delivered by the power of the Holy Amen. Spirit. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Amen. The spirit of Ben Haddad the spirit of the emptier, the spirit of covetousness is the same as the spirit of acquisition, is the same as the spirit of variousness, is the same as the spirit of avid. A covetous person is an itchy person. A covetous person is a jealous person. A covetous person is a selfish, voracious, co uh, uh, covetous person person and that was Bernadette you would think that because he's a king everybody else he would not want what other people have this is king to king you would think that because he's a king almost what he has Ahab also has but no he is in his 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 palace eyeing what Ahab has in his palace my question is, how did he know that Ahab has what, uh, what do you call it, silver and gold? Because he's been monitoring Ahab. He's been monitoring his going back and forth. In the name of Jesus, the name above every other name, any monitoring power 
any monitoring gadget that has been released against you today we frustrate them Amen. today we frustrate them Amen. we frustrate them Amen. in the name of jesus they are Amen. frustrated by Amen. the power of the holy spirit they are frustrated Amen. in the mighty name of jesus according to isaiah 44 verse 25 the bible says he frustrate the tokens of lies and make diviners mad any diviner that has been released against you any power that has been released against your home your household your destiny to monitor your progress in life in the mighty name of jesus i decree by the decree of heaven that they are frustrated Amen. 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 in the name of jesus you Amen. don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power Amen. is on your side. Favor Amen. is on your side. Amen. Shout fire. 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 So what happened? Oh. Bernard had released his army to go and fight Ahab for no reason. He's trying to take what Ahab has. That's no sin of Ahab. But he again released army to go and fight Ahab. This is the world that we live in. If you are not intimate with God, what belongs to you, Satan will contend for it. Some of you have been contended against. Your homes have been contended against. Your marriages have been contended against. Your academics have been contended against. You don't have to offend anyone. And most times you realize that you, that you are open heart, clean heart, like hearted, you are the person faith going through that. Because of the spirit of Bernada, you don't have to offend them. In fact, after trying to take what belongs to you, that's when he's going to look for trouble to put on you because he has to justify his covetousness. I pray for you. I pray for someone at the sound of my voice that in case you are going through any attack of what belongs to you, someone is trying to take it. Today, my. you are delivered from that. Amen. I say you are delivered from that. Amen. You are delivered. God is bringing Amen. you deliverance. Amen. Elohim is bringing you deliverance. King Amen. of kings is bringing you deliverance. Lord Amen. of Lord is bringing you deliverance. I said Amen. God is delivering you. Maybe your Amen. promotion, you didn't get it. You are getting Jesus. your promotion back. Amen. Maybe your house, it has been taken from you. You are getting your house back. Amen. Maybe Amen. your academics has been switched. You are getting your academics back. Amen. Maybe Amen. your marriage, someone has taken over. You are getting your marriage back. Maybe Amen. your business, uh, you told someone about your vision. The person ran to go and do it before you. You are getting it back. Anything that they have laid hands on, God is giving you the victory. Elohim Amen. is giving you the victory. King Amen. of kings, send me to tell you that you are getting the victory. You are Amen. getting the victory. You Amen. are getting the victory. Amen. You 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 don't Amen. serve a dead God. Uh, you serve a mighty God. Uh, he's Jesus. the same yesterday. He's the Hallelujah. same today. He's the Amen. same forever. When Amen. God says yes, no man can say no. When Amen. God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God Jesus. is on your side. Victory Amen. is on your side. Greatness Amen. is on your side. Restoration Amen. is on your side. Somebody Amen. say Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. So he sent men to fight him. Thanks be to God. God released one thing about God. He hates injustice. God knew everything. Because God knows the end from the beginning. Although Ahab was not standing well, God sent a prophet to tell Ahab that he is going to what, deliver Ben-Hadad into Ahab's hand when he comes to fight him to take what belongs to him. God is a good God. If this God was not dead, the, oh, there will be no wealth. Praise the Lord. Even with God, with prayers, with fasting, with the Bible, look at what is happening. But thanks be to God that he is a God of justice. So he told 
Ahab that I will send someone to give you what the upper hand over your enemies, which is Ben Hadad from Syria. And God did. God give, gave Ben Hadad the victory. Oh, uh, sorry, gave Ahab the victory over Ben Hadad. Open your palm wherever you are. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy from the throne room perspective, in the name of Jesus, the Lord give you victory over your enemies. Elohim Amen. give you victory over your enemies. King Amen. of kings give you victory over your enemies. Any Amen. kind of victory you are believing God, may the Lord give you the victory. May the Amen. Lord avenge you. May Elohim avenge you. May Elohim avenge you. I said the Lord avenge you. King Amen. of kings avenge you. The Lord of Lord avenge you. Anyone that has come closer, however they are, that you cannot see, whether they are for you or after you, the Lord avenge you. I say amen. the Lord avenge you. I want to amen. hear amen. King of kings avenge you. The amen. Lord of Lord avenge you. Amen. In the mighty amen. name of Jesus. Amen. amen. Before we move forward, so the Lord avenged Ahab, Samaria, against Syria, ben Hadad, because he is a God of justice. My question, why did ben Hadad ask for gold? Gold means royalty. Gold means wealth. Gold means power. We all know gold. The price of gold is expensive. Before the enemy comes for you, he likes to what? demote you by your power by your finances hallelujah he likes for somebody to feel unworthy that uh, oh what 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 is this why why, why why everything is gone well I, that, there's no need there's no need even to worship god there's no need uh, even to go to work uh, he puts that pre person in a depressive mode so he first asks for gold which is the most valuable things in every home. In the ancient times, our parents, my parents, your parents kept their valuables in gold. So gold, sometimes gold bars, my mom did. She kept gold bars and all of that. Praise God, because she used to deal in gold. Praise the Lord. So he asked for that. Praise the Lord. So that what? He can reduce their value. I pray for someone on this platform and anyone that will listen later any power that has been released against you to reduce your value Jesus. to reduce your power to reduce your wealth to take that which god has given to you or your household in the name of jesus the name above every other name i ask the court of heaven Jesus. That Lord, they judge them accordingly. The Jesus. court of heaven judge them accordingly. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, I further ask the warrior angels of God to buffet them, buffet them. Anything Amen. that they have touched, Amen. anything that belongs to you, that they are holding on to. Angels, the warrior angels of heaven, we deploy them to their camp to buffet them, buffet Amen. them, buffet Amen. them. Take that which belongs to you and bring it back to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bible says when Daniel prayed, the prince of Persia withheld his word, answers, but Archangel Michael was released, coupled with, Arch uh, 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 with Angel Gabriel to collect Daniel's answers and bring it and it was done so shall it be for you as you are hearing this sermon anything that has been held by wickedness anything that has been held by covetousness anything that have been held by any thief or anyone around you whoever they are right now in the name of jesus we deploy archangel michael archangel gabriel to snatch it from the hands of the evil one and bring them to you 
Bring them to you. Bring them to you. Bring them to you. Bring them to you in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, say, Archangel Michael, I send you on error in the name of Jesus. Anything that belongs to me and is somebody is in another person's hand, snatch it and bring them to me. Open your mouth and pray. Snatch it. Snatch it and bring them to me. Snatch it and bring them to me. Snatch it. Anything that belongs to me, mention it in the name of Jesus. Send Archangel Michael and your Gabriel. Whoever is holding on to it, the principality, any power, any ruler of darkness, seeking any queen, whoever they are, that is holding on to whatever belongs to me. My Father, my God, you have my permission right now. As you are exposing the spirit of Benhada, oh Lord, expose them and let Archangel Michael and Sir Gabriel snatch whatever belongs to them. In the name of Jesus, anything that has been tampered with should receive restoration. To receive restoration. Any area of our life, open your mouth, ask God for restoration, ask God to restore you. Whatever you have lost, normally or normally, whatever they have stolen, normally or normally, God, say, God, restore me, restore me, restore me. According to the order, four chapter 2, verse 25, it says, and I'll restore all the years that the canker went, the farmer went, the caterpillars, and the locusts have eaten. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus, my Father, my God, restore unto us all the years that the cankerworms, the caterpillars, the locusts, the farmer west have eaten. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God, King of kings, Lord of lords, Alpha and Omega, the first, the last, the beginning and the end, you have never lied and you will not lie because of us. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered. Arise and let your enemies be scattered. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So Ben Haddad first asked for gold. And he went for that's their power, that's their wealth, that's their royalty. In the name of Jesus, receive your royalty back. Receive your power back. Receive your wealth back. Receive your wealth back. I, God is restoring somebody's wealth. God Amen. is restoring somebody's royalty. Amen. God is restoring somebody's power. Receive Amen. it, receive it. God is restoring your wealth. That's Amen. your money that has been masa, basa, nyama, nyama. God is restoring it. God Amen. is restoring your finances. Amen. And he is restoring your values. Amen. He's restoring your valuables. Amen. King of Kings is restoring them. Say, I receive, I receive, I, I receive. receive. My receive, friend, receive, you didn't receive, dial up on I this receive, line to receive, come and see anything. Receive, you dial up to receive, receive the prophetic receive, words of God. Receive, dial up. Are, this is I God receive, speaking to you. Receive, receive your wealth. Receive, receive your power. Receive, receive your valuables power. right now. Right friend, now in the name I of Jesus. My money. I receive it. And he went ahead and asked for silver. Praise the Lord. He said, Amen. your gold and your silver. Praise the Lord. What I is know. silver? Silver means focus, stability, hope, love, vision, tenderness, and clarity. When you are focused and you have clarity, you are more dangerous and powerful than, than, than anything else. So what Satan tries to do, especially the spirits of uh, the emptier, is to derail your focus, is to derail your stability. You, you are doing uh, what? Uh, virtual meetings every Tuesday. You are always on point. Satan doesn't like that. Your business every June, you say you are going to Africa, you are able to go, uh-uh. Satan will try to interrupt it. Hallelujah. Amen. You are an A student. Don't let him know. As soon as he knows, he will try to what? Defocus that person. That's why sometimes you can't even tell people your vision. And these days, you don't have to tell people. They have people monitoring your what? Progress. They have people in every church. Churches. People around homes. People everywhere. To, to ask, what's going on? And we have some mumus too that will give them answer. May the Lord deliver you in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So he Hallelujah. asked for silver, which is also, which also represents their tenderness, their passion. 
Ben Haddad wanted to finish them. When someone is able to take your focus and your mind, that's it. Coupled with your valuables, coupled with your power, it will not be your portion. Amen. Amen. It will not be your portion. How Amen. does the devil take away focus? You are worshiping God. You know God. They say, ah, how long you been going to church? What has changed? Hmm? You have given. You have paid tight. There are people who don't pay tight again because they, they have given tight. So they've given their all 10 years ago. It's now they are doing their correction. You say, uh-uh, I've done these things 10 years. I'm not doing that. You have paid tight. You've done so much. What has come out of it? Ah, don't you went to, you've been going to church Monday through Friday. Don't go when you can go. Don't, wait, don't let these people. I, I, get, I get that a lot. It's not even you I'm preaching to. I'm preaching to myself. I get that a lot. And this is not from uh, far people, low, close people. Am I talking to somebody? He yeah. tried to derail them by asking for silver i don't know what is taking your focus away from the lord i don't know what is interrupting your intimacy with jesus i don't know what is derailing you from communicating daily with our father in heaven i don't know what is stopping you from reading your bible reading sermons listening to sermons now we've spent more time on the phone than more time on the throne more time on the phone more time playing games more time doing things that would not bring any benefit than more time with the lord we live in a wicked dispensation that it does not matter what you are you don't even in fact those that are very offensive those that are wicked, Satan don't go closer to them. Because they, they have his nuggets. They are wicked. What he's doing to people, they are doing to people. So he doesn't go to them. It is you that you think, I'm um, a child of God. I've been purchased by the special blood of Jesus. No power can touch me. No, Yes, it is true. No power can touch you. But you have to continually work on your salvation. Otherwise, Satan will come after you. And the devil doesn't come like an uh, angel, like angel of darkness. He comes like the angel of light. If he comes like an angel of darkness, you will, you, even you that you are in darkness, you say no. Am I talking to somebody? He yeah. comes like an angel of light. He brings what you are looking for. He says it to you. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. There was a time. I, I was going through a little going through. Guess the people I was meeting. Milones, Milones, Milones. Zerama, what do you want? I'll give it to you. Eh? I, I, I'll change your car. I'll do this. I'll do that. In my head, I say, change the car. Take your car. I don't want trouble. Hallelujah. Am I talking Amen. to somebody? Yes. He, Satan will save you on a silver platter. What? exactly your heart desire is up to you to match what you are getting with the scriptures this thing that i'm taking this thing that i'm doing does it match the will of god that's you a child of god bernada don't match will of god bernada is a thief a covetous they don't match the will of god but i promise and guarantee you with the God that I serve and, and the grace of God that has brought us this far, as long as you depend solely on God and God's direction and do the will of God, no demon from hell can derail you. In yeah. fact, the agenda for your life catapults you to your greatness. No demon. Their plots, their plans, their purposes to derail you catapults you into your greatness. Ahab was a king living in sin, but the agenda and purpose of ben Haddad made God go to stand by Ahab to defeat ben Haddad because of the children of God. 
Maybe if it were for Ahab alone, God wouldn't have done it. But because of his own children that Ahab was king over. Once you are a child of God, God never, ever leaves you alone. Praise the Lord. Bible says, says I will be with you to the end of age. In no matter. Our problem is we give up so easily. Now, giving up is different from changing strategies. A lot of people mistake changing strategies to giving up. If God gives you divine strategy, take it. Don't listen to the noise of other people. Just follow what God is telling you. Ahab, unfortunately, did not obey. The prophet that told Ahab that God is going to give him victory over Ben-Hadad also told Ahab that after this defeat, after this victory over Ben-Hadad, Ben-Hadad is going to come back again for him. So he should be careful. Guess what happened? Ben-Hadad did come back. The spirit of the emptier, I told you from the beginning, is a never giving up spirit. So if you defeat that power and God give you divine direction, walk with the one God is telling you because he knows the end from the beginning. The reason why a lot of the children of God are marking time in the same places, God, you pray, 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 pray for breakthrough. God gives you the breakthrough and then you relax. In that breakthrough, God tells you, do this, do that, do that. And then you relax. The next thing you see is you are back to square one. The spirit of ben that comes in any form. ben that can come in any form. It can come in the form of what? Taking your marriage. It can come in the form of taking your business. It can come in the form of taking your health. It can come in the form of taking your academics. It can come in the form of taking... Your, your, your promotion, it can come in any form. In this Ahab case, it was their silver and their gold and their whole family. It can come in the form of taking somebody's children, not our children. It can come in the form of attacking your spouse, attacking mm-hmm. your wife, attacking your husband. That's the spirit of Bernard. You'll be standing, what did I do? I don't do nothing. I go to church, go to work, come back home, go to church, go to work, come back home. I don't even have friends. Mm. It's the spirit of Ben Haddad. I pray for someone. At the sound of my voice, in the name of Jesus, the Lord that is exposing this power, that Lord will deliver you from every spirit of Ben Haddad. I say that Lord will deliver you from every spirit of Ben Haddad. I say God will deliver you from every spirit of Ben Haddad in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now we are going to pray to interrupt any power that has been sent to you to what? To take your focus. That was, we were on the silver case. Raise up your right hand of fire. Say, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God, my Father, my God, as I pray right now, as by I the blood of now. Jesus, I interrupt. The Lord of Jesus, I interrupt every power that has been sent to derail me, to defocus me, to turn me backwards. We interrupt it. We interrupt, it. We interrupt every power. In the name of Jesus, clap your hands, clap your feet, wherever you are in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power, any show, however they come, in the mighty name of Jesus, that has been sent to interrupt us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we interrupt them. We reverse their agenda back to them. We reverse, we reverse, we reverse the agenda back to them. We decree by the decree of heaven. Ezekiel 21, 27. Oh God of heaven. Oh God of heaven. And I will overturn and overturn over to you. To whom, whose it is, I will give to them. In the name of Jesus, oh God of heaven. Overturn every agenda of hell. Overturn it. Anything released to take our focus away. 
way. Can we need any release to take our stability? Anything release to interrupt our momentum? My Father, my God, we interrupt them. We interrupt them. We interrupt them. We interrupt them. In the mighty name of Jesus, any power of Ben Haddad release to interrupt your children's momentum. Release to interrupt your children's blessings. Release to interrupt your children's grace. Release to interrupt anyone on this platform and those that will listen later to interrupt your blessings, what you have said concerning them. Right now, in the name of Jesus, God, we shatter the agenda. We shatter the applause. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree by the decree of heaven, according to Isaiah chapter 7, verse 7, that it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. It shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. Lord, we decree by the decree of heaven that it will not stand. Their interruption will not stand. Their interruption will not stand. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God, we decree speed, we decree acceleration, we decree favor, we decree honor, we decree favor, we decree lifting, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are going to pray for your seed if you are on this line. Praise the Lord. Ben Haddad demanded for his wives and children. Sometimes when the devil cannot attack you, they, they go for your seed. It will not be your portion. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If they cannot Amen. attack you, they go for your spouse. If you, you are on fire, the person that they use against you is your spouse if your spouse and you on fire they go for the kids because they know the kids accept jesus christ or they will say lord 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 they turn around and you know they, they are the weaker vessel will not be our portion the devil will not lay hands on our kids will not lay Amen. hands on your spouse will not Amen. lay hands on your children will not Amen. lay hands on your loved ones in the mighty Amen. name of jesus say Amen. my father my father my, my father, father, my father. father in the name of jesus in the name of jesus this afternoon as we pray this afternoon as we pray i lift up my children i lift up my seed i lift up my spouse i lift up my household before you oh god of heaven just as you fought for samaria just as you gave them the victory we take the victory we take the victory me and my household we take the victory open your mouth open your mouth in the name of jesus god is bringing you victory what you didn't know you could not solve him is giving you the victory. King of Kings is giving you the victory. Lord of Lord is giving you the victory. Ah, kasa ta 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 ta. I lift up my children. Mention your children. Mention their name. If you don't have children, mention your love, nieces and nephews. In the name of Jesus, the Lord protect your seed. Your seed. No Bernard will touch your seed. No spirit of the empty will touch your seed. In the name of Jesus, I pray for my seed. I pray for my children. My Father, my God, Lord, I embellish them in the blood of Jesus. From the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Lord, the katai abasuta ya katanda. Ilegesu katai abate legese legese. Ilakate legese legese lebete legese legese. Ilegese legese legese. Ilegese legese 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 legese. Ilegese legese legese. Pray for their academics, pray for their health, pray for their education, pray for their finances, pray for their future, pray for their future, pray for their future. 
future. Pray for their future. In the name of Jesus. Mark O Father, we sow the seed of prayer today through our home, over our children, over our spouses, over everything that is valuable in our lives, that the spirit of the empty will not catch up with them. Lord, we show them from the spirit of the waster, we show them from the spirit of what? Uh, uh, covetousness, uh, covetous skin. We show them from the spirit of covetousness. Wherever they are, whoever they are, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Amen. I decree peace over your home. I decree Amen. peace over what belongs to you. According Amen. to John chapter 14, verse 27, Jesus said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. By right, as children of God, we have to enjoy peace. Satan knows the Bible more than we do because we spend less time with the Bible. He knows the scriptures from Genesis to Revelations. So he knows that Jesus has left you with peace. So what he tries to do is take your peace. After now, receive peace in every area of your life. Receive Amen. peace in every area of your life. Amen. Receive peace in every area of your life. Receive Amen. peace in your home. Receive Amen. peace in your ministry. Receive Amen. peace in your business. Receive Amen. peace in your family. Receive Amen. peace in, in every area. In the home front, uh, in the social front, uh, economic front, receive peace all around peace. Amen. All around decree peace over you. Open your mouth my and decree father, peace. Some of the someone father, on this line, God. you are so overwhelmed. God is bringing you peace. God is bringing you answers. You are receiving peace. After now, everything will start falling in place for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Someone on this line. After now, peace is coming. Peace. Peace. God is bringing you peace. Yes. Yes. It's you I'm talking to. I don't want to mention your name. God is bringing you peace. Because as soon as I mention it, I got your name here. God is bringing you peace. Peace. Receive peace in everything you are doing. All your businesses. Those that have risen up against you in your business, the Lord is taking them out. The Lord is taking them out. God will replace them with better people. You always thought that if you let them go, who will do their job? God says, I should tell you, he's bringing you better people than them. Better people than them. Jesus, just believe. Just believe. Just believe. Just believe. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Another prayer we are going to pray. Ben Haddad sent a message again to Ahab that he's sending his messengers to scout his house and take all the valuables he has. Some of you on this line, you've been losing stuff. Valuables don't make sense. Praise the Lord. The, that power has come to an end today. That Amen. spirit, that, that thief, that kleptomaniac spirit is terminated today in the name of Jesus. I say Amen. we terminate that kleptomaniac spirit, that thief, that thief. Oh, I connect to the grace of Paul, my father. Apostle John C. Suleiman, and we terminate the assignment of every thief in your life. Every Amen. thief, 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 every thief to the north, to the south, to the east, to the west, whoever they are, however they are, wherever they are, their assignment is terminated today. Amen. I said the assignment is terminated today. Amen. God is terminating the assignment. All you got Amen. to do is believe. Amen. All you need to do is believe that God can do it. Do you believe? Yes. yes. If you believe, oh, it yeah. is done. You are going to pray. Any power stealing my valuables. Hallelujah. Amen. Have you spoken to someone before? They lose this. They turn around. They lose that. They turn around. They lose that. That's the spirit of Bernard. Minus you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say minus you in the mighty name of Jesus. That's a wicked Amen. spirit. That's a wicked arrow that has been released. 
I don't know who this is for, but today that power has come to an end. Amen. Bible says he reveals to redeem. This is why pastors go through attacks. Because when you release the word, whoever is, is, a, is a suspect, when they listen to the preaching, you become what? A victim. They want to jab you because you, you have released what people don't know. But I stand in the authority of the name of Jesus. I stand in the power of the blood of Jesus. I stand on the word of God, which is a double-edged sword. And today I denounce every spirit of covetousness that has been arrowed at you for you to lose things, lose things. That power comes to steal things. Today, that power goes into permanent extinction in the mighty name of Jesus. I say that power goes into permanent extinction in the name of Jesus. That Amen. power goes into permanent extinction in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't Amen. know who is losing things on the phone. Maybe you lost you lost your land. You lost your home. You lost this. You lose that. You lose that. You lose that. Every spirit of Ben Haddad that has been released against you today receive restoration. Amen. Receive restoration. Amen. Receive restoration. Amen. Receive Amen. the restoration of God. Receive Amen. the restoration of Jesus. Amen. Receive Amen. the restoration of Jesus Amen. in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. 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 God is restoring somebody. Amen. I say Elohim is restoring somebody. Amen. If you believe it, shout fire. 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 Shout fire. 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 Beloved, wickedness is real. Hallelujah. It, you cannot be nice. And because I noticed that being nice does not stop wickedness. In fact, it phantoms wickedness. Being nice exacerbates wickedness. Being nice attracts wickedness. Eh? My father in the Lord, Apostle John C. Suleiman, he said, when a mad man is on the street and a normal man is, a mad man is crossing the street and you normal man, you are going, in fact, the car will stop for the mad man. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah, we man. live, this is the end time. We need, you need to know the scriptures. You have to start practicing it. God has spoken so much. God is too Speaking, but just as Ahab, we are not listening. God is still speaking. When you live under a kleptomania skin, when you are under a covetous skin, nothing works. You lose things. You put the best things in order. You put the best systems in order. You put the best strategies in order, but you're going to lose. It no matter how much investment you do under a, 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 a kleptomaniac, covetous skin, you're going to lose that investment. I pray for someone at I the sound it. of my voice. I, I don't know it. who you are associated with, but by the blood of Jesus, we cause a permanent divorce from Amen. any man or woman with the spirit of Ben Hada. A permanent Jesus. divorce. A permanent Amen. divorce. A Amen. permanent divorce. A Amen. permanent divorce in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. The spirit of Ben Haddad is the spirit of low zone. It no matter how you started, you can be royalty. You can be of gold. You can be of silver. You can have ideas. When you are under the oppression of King Ben Haddad, know that your valuables, your good values will, will what? Diminish, will be diminished minus you. Amen. Minus you. Amen. Minus you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Minus you. So today we have exposed that power. It is up to you, as you have heard this sermon, to be vigilant and walk in the precepts of God, praise the Lord, walk in the directions of God so that Ben Haddad 
or wicked spirit of the spirit of the waster, the spirit of the emptier will not have its hand over your lot. I pray for someone that after now, your deliverance will be permanent. Your deliverance will be Amen. permanent. Amen. Your deliverance Amen. will be permanent Amen. in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. If you think what God is telling you is a joke, when you go to the book of Joshua chapter 1, verse 7, there was another king there, Adonibezek. Instead of kings using their power to what? Enrich the people, to make the people come out better for restoration to, 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 to better their life. These days, kings, leaders, people that have been put in position, they use the position for oppression. Adonibezek put 70 kings under his table. He didn't only put them under his table. He cut their thumbs and cut their toes. Everybody knows that, that the reason why God gave us five digits is to grasp. When your thumb is cut, you cannot grasp. How are you going to grasp? It would Something that you have to do in two seconds, you have to wait for somebody to come and do it for you. It will not be your portion. Cutting their thumb and their toes is to delay their acceleration. Is to delay their life because they cannot do. They can, you, they, they they need help. They will need assistive devices to even walk. And not only that, even them, they were not allowed to walk at all. He kept them under his table. And I was asking the Holy Spirit that he kept them under his table, but he cut their thumbs and cut their toes, but he didn't mute their mouth. Why didn't they shout? The Holy Spirit said, the table that they were under is an altar. And that altar has been serviced to mute them. So even though their thumb and toes are cut, the altar has also muted them. I pray for someone at the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus, the name above every other name, any altar fashioned against you to mute you, to silence you, the Lord silence them. Elohim Amen. silence them. King of Amen. kings silence them. Lord Amen. of Lord silence them. I say Amen. the Lord silence them. Amen. Elohim silence them in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. He cut off their thumb and their toes. And 70 of the 70, by if is now, by the time the second person, third person come, please, you have to, they have to start. Uh, guys, we got to get out of this place. Yeah, he cut your thumb too. He cut your toes. He cut my cut. But how do we come out of it? They were mute. They have been quarantined spiritually. They have been caged spiritually. In the name of Jesus, the name above every other name, any power, destiny thief, destiny destroyer, destiny as as assassinator, vision thief, vision killer, Destiny covetous, co co covet, eh? any necromancer, any stargazer, eh, eh, any kleptomaniac that has kept your destiny under a, 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 an altar to disadvantage you so that only them can walk, only them can shine, only today their end has come, their end has come, their end has come, their end has come. What was wished for you? as it was wished for the 70 kings, so shall it be for them and their generation to generation. I stand on this, I stand on this altar and I make this declaration that whoever, wherever they are, that have kept your destiny under any kind of altar to disadvantage you, we reverse their agenda. May their own altar fight them. May Amen. their own altar Amen. fight them. Amen. May their Amen. own altar Amen. fight them. Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Adonibezek was caught red-handed. And he spoke from his own mouth. Any man or woman, whoever, wherever, beast, they will speak from their own mouth. Amen. I know this God. I have realized that whatever God says is true. I, I believe God, though, but now it makes more sense that everything God tells us is true. God is still talking. Turn to your neighbor and say, God is still talking. God is God talking is to you. Still God talking. is still talking. God he's still, still talking. talking. Even now, he's still talking. Is that we God are not listening. 
Ahab did not listen. And guess what? Adonibezek, uh, Ahab did not listen. Ben Hadad struck him again. This is why a lot of children, it's not that God don't love you. God loves you, but you need to obey. Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. If you don't feel like doing something, ask God. Your friend will come with enticing words. Say, Holy Spirit, should I? Should I not? Bible says, and David, what? Inquired of the Lord. Inquire of the Lord. Should I do it? Should I not? Amen. I pray for you. As you have heard this word today, that the word of God will not depart from you. The Amen. agenda of hell will not, will not fashion against you. That yeah. any kleptomania, any thief, any destiny destroyer, destiny covet, any avid man or woman that is around you, around your children, around your workplace, around your family, on assignment to steal that which belongs to you, Elohim give you victory. Amen. King of Kings give you victory. Amen. Receive Amen. the victory over them. Amen. Receive Amen. the victory over them. Receive Amen. the victory over them. Receive Amen. the victory over them. Receive Amen. the victory Amen. over them in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. As you have received the victory, be very vigilant. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The number one strategy of the enemy is manipulation. Victory is relative. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, victory. Don't let anybody describe your victory to you. You know your victory. Stay with your victory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know your victory. Stay with your victory. Don't say, let's say, say oh, look what I said. Excuse me. A lady went into labor and came out without the baby. And a, a covetous neighbor said, oh, sorry about your loss. The, la the lady said, excuse me. What loss? I have won the victory. Hallelujah. I have mm -hmm. won the victory. I'm still alive. I can even have triplets. I can have quadruplets. I can have quintuplets. I can ha have the baby again. I have not lost. So I decree you victorious. Amen. As you leave this line, that the Lord will fight your battles for you. The Lord Amen. will align your thoughts. The Lord Amen. will do what only him can do for you. The Lord Amen. will direct your path. The Amen. Lord will send helpers your way. The will Amen. of God for your life will come to pass. The restoration Amen. grace of God will fall upon you and your household. Amen. That anything that has been stolen from you, the Lord will restore you double for Amen. your trouble. Bible Amen. says when Job prayed for his friends, the Lord restored him double portion of whatever he has he lost in the name of jesus the lord restore you double portion of all that you have lost by the amen. power of the holy i also pray for the spirit of sensitivity the spirit of discernment that after now you'll be sensitive you will have discernment the amen. enemy will not trouble you twice amen. bible says affliction shall not happen the second time the only time affliction happens the second time is disobedience you will not disobey god after now amen. you will not disobey god after now amen. you will not disobey god after now the amen. grace to obey god fall upon you in the name amen. of jesus amen, amen. god amen. bless amen. you god bless you amen wave amen. at the lord wave thank at the lord wait at the lord thank you, lord. Thank you father hallelujah wave thank at you, him sweet, sweet. wave at him we'll thank take you, sweet, sweet, few sweet. prayers and we will call it a day. We thank God for what he's doing, what he has done, what he's about to do. Our prayer is in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 14. You are going to ask God to help you restore your life and put your house in order. Hallelujah. Lord, mm -hmm. you are going to ask God. I don't know what has been stolen from you, what has been tampered from you. Uh, what has been tampered in your life, whatever it is, your education was tampered when you were a child, your inheritance was, was tampered, your mom was taken away from you as a child, your whatever, your, 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 your property was taken, whatever it is, the man you were supposed to marry was swapped, the devil changed it, you went to marry the wrong person, uh, a lot has happened. 
you wanted to travel. They say, don't travel. You've stayed. Now you should have traveled. That was Ben, uh, ben Haddad. Swapping, swapping, stealing destinies. Raise up your right hand of fire wherever you are. In the name of Jesus, this is Omega Fire Ministries, Bronx Branch. Uh, this is Divine Solution Service. Solution of God is coming to you. Your matter, that matter, you, you hear it during the sermon and then we'll pray on it. You are going to ask God according to First Corinthians 14, 40. Say, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, as we pray, oh Lord, help me and restore, re help me restore my life, restore my home. Help, Help me, me restore, restore my life. life. Put my, home. Restore Put my house in order. Put my house in order. Restore my life. Restore my life. Open your mouth. Ask you to restore your home. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Ask the name of Jesus. Ask God to restore your home, your life, everything. The Lord led you to take some in the name of Jesus, God is restoring somebody. Elohim is restoring somebody. Say, my father, my God, in the name of Jesus, restore me, restore my home, restore my life, restore all that was happening with us. But help me, assist me to put my house in order. Assist me, assist me, assist me. In the name of Jesus, ask God to assist you. We cannot do it by ourselves. He can help us. The Bible says, let all this be done in order. Wherever there is order, there is God is not there. Wherever there is order, there is God. Say, Lord, assist me to do things in order. In my home, in my life. Life, in every area of my life, help me to put the house in order. In the name of Jesus, help me to do this in order. Wherever there is order, there is peace. Wherever there is order, there is order. Anywhere you see order, anywhere you see this order, run away, run away, run away from this order. Run away from this order. That's where stealing is. That's where stealing. Ben Haddad, covetousness, where this order is. In the name of Jesus, put your life in order, your finances in order, your home in order, your academics in order. God is putting somebody's life in order. God is restoring you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my God, thank you, O Lord, for keeping us alive till now. Thank you for frustrating the power of the Right now, as we stand in front of you, we ask you. Lord, that you put our house in order. Assist us. Give us the grace to put my house in order. Give me the grace to put my house in order. Put my life in order. All that I have lost, restore me of all that I have lost. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name. Amen. The Lord will put your house in order. The Lord put your life in order in the name of Jesus. This prayer is very important. Hallelujah. No matter what you have, no matter who you are, if things are not in order, there's no progress. There is no peace. Hallelujah. This mm -hmm. first Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40, it says, let everything be done decently and in order. When there is no order, there is no decency. Praise the Lord. Am Hallelujah. I talking to somebody? Yeah. We, this is the sixth month of the year. Maybe things have taken different turn. what you're supposed to do first is now the fourth what you're supposed to do fourth is now the fifth what you're supposed to do uh first uh, the last is now mm -mm, it's not gonna be our portion amen in the name of jesus 
Say, my father, my father. My father, my, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I, Ramakani. I demand from you. I demand from you. The anointing. The anointing. And the grace. And the grace. Of order. Of order. In my life. In my, in my life. life, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth, ask for grace, Jesus. the anointing, and grace of order. I demand, Father, I demand it. I ask for it. You said we should ask, we shall be given. We should seek, we will, you will open. I ask for the grace of order, the anointing, the power, the alibaka, shateha, salaba, sutaya. Makataya bata, order in my home, order in every area, whatever I am doing, let it be in order. Let it not be said that I did this first, I should have done that. Lord, we don't want to say we should have, we should have. Lord, put my life in order, put my life in order, put our lives in order in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be all yours. Take control, take control, take precedence in the, the life of your children on this line. Those Lord, put our life, you have our permission. We surrender our our destiny is to you. Le basilika hate ya basanda. Raku tata kate te. Raka te 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 te. Raka te te te. Raka te te te. Raku sata ta. Reka sata ta. Raku sata te. Raka shi te te. Ask God to put your life in order. In the name of Jesus. Some of you had valuables. You had wealth. It has been tampered with. Hallelujah. Wealth is your power. Your, your finances have gone down. Your gold. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask God for restoration. According to George chapter 2 verse 25. I'm going to ask, say, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, you have my permission. Restore my wealth. Restore my wealth. Open your mouth. Restore my wealth. In the name of Jesus. Restore my wealth. Restore my finances. Restore my finances. Open whatever brings you wealth. Ask God, ask God to restore it. Whatever, however you get it. Ask Elohim Azar to restore your wealth. Restore your wealth. My Father, my God. Restore my wealth. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Say, I reverse every wealth, every gold of mine that is the hands of any man or woman, is in the hands of any king. In the name of Jesus, as we pray, I reverse it, I take it back, I take it back, take it back, take it back. Take your gold, take your wealth, take your royalty back, take it back. We reverse our royalty, we reverse our gold, we reverse our arrows, we reverse our fellow. Any kleptoman, any king, wherever they are. Whoever they are holding on to what belongs to me, O oh God of justice, O oh King of justice, creator of this universe, creator of heaven and earth, thou that seest in darkness as the daylight, thou that knowest the heart of men, thou that knowest the end from the beginning, arise, O oh Lord, and let your enemies be scattered. Let your enemies be scattered. Enemies of your children. Just as you scattered Ben Hadad. My father, my God, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them, scatter them. We seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus. Scatter them. We decree by the decree of heaven. Isaiah 8, 9 to 10. Lord, let them be broken into pieces. Any enemy, adversaries, on errands to Steal our gold, oh, oh God of heaven, scatter them, 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 scatter them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are going to ask for focus. Hallelujah. There's no way when you see a person that is focused, you can tell. Even you yourself, when you are not focused, you know. Hallelujah. When you are here, you are there, you are here, you know. 
it will not be your portion. Amen. For this, you are going to invite the Holy Spirit. The, the biggest prayer for this deliverance to be focused, to be strategic, to calm down is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Luke 1 verse 8. Bible says, when ye shall receive the Holy Spirit, ye shall receive power. Hallelujah. You need the Holy Spirit. What makes you call John, call Kofi, talk where, do this, do this. You are ha 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 ha. You are everywhere looking for attention. Is because you are bankrupt of the Holy Spirit. If you are full of the Holy Spirit, that peace that Jesus left with us remains with you. Hallelujah. That peace Amen. is just Amen. is just in you like this. Overwhelm, who overwhelmed you. What people will say, ah, ah, for yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, you are like, mm. <laughs> God, God has given you the deliverance. Hallelujah. So ben Bernadette asked for the, their silver to defocus them, to take their stability, to take their, their, their uh, uh, um, what do you call it? Momentum. Hallelujah. To take their Hallelujah. balance, just Amen. to derail uh, them. Hallelujah. It will not be your portion. Any power that Amen. has derailed you, receive momentum, receive acceleration, Amen. receive Amen. speed, receive power, receive power, receive power, receive Amen. power, receive Amen. power in the name Amen. of Jesus. Jesus. Say, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. we invite you right now. We invite right you right now. Right now. Come and fill me up. Come and, fill me Come and dwell in me. Come and take control. I receive you right now into my body, soul and mind, Holy Spirit. This week and beyond, I receive you. Take control of my life. I need you. I need you. Take control. Let the impossible become possible. Let even the things I cannot handle, let me be able to handle them. Jesus, guide my thoughts. Holy Spirit, teach me. Teach me. The word says, I will send the Holy Spirit that will comfort to be your comforter. Oh, Holy Ghost, I need you more. We need you more at this end time. The Holy Spirit, enter into your children, everyone on the line, anyone that will listen to this sermon later. Holy Spirit, enter into them. Do what you only can do. Let that peace you left with us, let it fill us up to the brim. Holy Spirit, take control. Open your mouth and ask for the Holy Spirit. This is the big prayer. You don't want to be all over the place. Let the Holy Spirit fill you up. Let the Holy Spirit will let those that determine what you will do. The Holy Spirit will what? Disappoint them. It is the Holy Spirit that disappoints the devices of the craft. Those that have pre predetermined. Oh, we're going to do this and this will happen. The Holy Spirit helps you by so doing by disappointing their plans so you need the holy spirit more than ever open your mouth and invite the holy spirit wherever you are on the line say holy spirit i invite you come and fill me up right now come and strengthen me empower me direct me because i need you more as you are praying you are being filled with the holy spirit your life is changing as you invite the holy spirit your life is changing things are changing your thought process will change. Everything about you will change. You start seeing things differently according to the will of God and that will help you open your mouth and invite the Holy Spirit to fill you up. Holy Spirit, we need you. Fill everyone up. Fill our children up. Fill our spouses up. We need you more than ever. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Amen. The Holy Spirit said we should pray against the spirit of disobedience. Hallelujah. I don't know who this is for the spirit of the being disobedient doesn't mean that you are a bad person. It just means that you want to do it your way, but not God's way. Hallelujah. God Amen. is still talking. He speaks through his vessels. He speaks through his word. He speaks through. He's still speaking. So us being disobedient is just that 
we want things done our way. And most times when we do things our way, it, it, it may not be immediate, but it, the, the backlash is, is harder. Damage control becomes more hard to fix, whereas we could have just listened. Hallelujah. We lose more than uh, we started. We, we will not lose more than that after this prayer. Amen. Bible says disobedience is as the spirit of witchcraft. So if yeah. you are a person that the, God says, come, you say, no, I'm not going. God says, go, you say, no, I'm coming. God says, stand, you say, this is the time I want to sit. I'm just doing, saying simple, uh, uh, giving simple examples so that you will not think it's you I'm talking about. Most times when we preach, people say they are to you are talking about them. Believe it or not, sometimes it's even the preacher God is speaking to. Hallelujah. And so we are going to pray against the spirit of disobedience. That spirit has done a lot of harm to people. To the extent that even when God is standing there, has sent an angel, a friend, uh, has sent a helper to help you, that helper cannot help you until you obey. Have you not seen men that look like they have no wives because they don't listen? Hallelujah. They are walking about with dirty clothes, nobody to wash their clothes because nobody even knows what time they're going to come home. <laughs> It's the Lord. They, they are walking about hungry because they, they, they have to eat this, it, it messed everything up. Rebellion. Rebellion is as a spirit of witchcraft. It will not be your portion. I don't know who this is. What they say follow, follow it. When you are rebellious, it leads to something else. It leads to jealousy. It leads to argument. It leads to contention. It leads to a lot of other spirits. And then Satan starts what? Growing in that person. And then he starts. And then when you are supposed to be listening to God, because of the negative spirit growing in you, you start listening. It will not be your portion. It will not be our portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus. We're going to terminate the that spirit right now your deliverance is right now as you pray you are receiving your deliverance say my father my father by the blood of jesus i receive that i receive deliverance from the spirit of rebellion i receive deliverance from the spirit of rebellion i receive deliverance from the spirit of rebellion speak to me in a manner that i can understand speak to me in a manner that i can understand lord reveal yourself to me in a way that i, I can understand in my level open your mouth ask god to speak to you in a way in your level open your mouth Father, give us deliverance from every spirit of rebellion. Give all of us, our homes, our spouses, our children, every one of us, give us that deliverance from the spirit of rebellion. That seed of rebellion, we cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now you are going to thank God for what you have received. Say, Father, let what I have Father, received today received. not depart away from me. Away from in the name me. of Jesus, name of thank Jesus. you for restoring thank all that was stolen, stolen from me. Stolen. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you for exposing the spirit of the empty, the spirit of the waster. Thank you for exposing the spirit of an adult to me. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Abba Father. I believe you. I know that as you have said, so shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let any covetous heart, covetous skin, skin, covetous friend that is unrepentant, Father, take them away from us. Open your mouth and ask God in the name of Jesus. Tell God what you want God to do for you. I'm standing in the gap with you. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth. Ask God for what you want this week. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, now that you have restored us this week, we ask, ask, now ask. Father, I pray for the Godly Trend. 
to your workplace every time you are on work, shift you are guarded God says I should tell somebody that you are protected you are more protected to be molested you are too protected to be molested God said I should tell you that you are too protected to be molested they are being molested those that you are scared of are scared of you God said I should tell somebody be all they cast out they cast financial explosion god says i should tell somebody restoration is coming for you restoration is coming for you restoration in your home restoration in your home in the name of jesus god says he is disappointing their devices the devices of the crafty is disappointing them. They have they are disappointed. They are disappointed. They are disappointed. Those that rose up against you are disappointed. Those who wish my name of Jesus. I hear scholarship, scholarship. God is giving somebody scholarship. I hear scholarship, scholarship, scholarship. Whoever is looking for scholarship, Elohim is bringing your scholarship. Scholarship to you. God is bringing in healing to somebody. Sickle cell anemia. God is bringing you healing. Healing. For healing, sickle cell anemia. Receive your healing, sickle cell. I don't know who that is. Sickle cell anemia. Receive healing. Receive healing. Receive healing. The blood of Jesus cleanse your blood. The blood, the blood of Jesus cleanse you. Make you whole in the name of Jesus. The Lord make you whole. Elohim make you whole. King of kings make you whole. Lord of Lord make you whole. King of kings, somebody, God is giving you a new job. A new job, a new job, a job where you will be happy. A job where you be valued in the name of Jesus, where there is no oppression, receive it. A new job, a new job, a new job, a new job, a fresh start, a fresh start. God is restoring all that you have lost, all that was stolen from you. Your gold, your silver, your home. God is restoring your home. Somebody on the line, Elohim is restoring your home. Oh, yes, Lord. You can not know this God and be a victim of Satan. It's impossible. It's impossible. That's what Satan wish. That's what he will brag about. But he knows that it's impossible. God is restoring your home. God is restoring your home. The original plan of God for your home. God is restoring, rearranging your life. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is restoring somebody's finances. After now, after now, your finances are being restored. Your money is being released. That your money that has been held is being released. We command it release. We decree it release. Your finances are being released. Your ministry is released. Your business is released. Your helpers are released. Your job is released. Your healing is released. God is releasing. God is frustrating. Your Ben Haddad. Any Ben Haddad release against you. God gave them the victory over him. Receive your victory over Ben Haddad, over Tigs, over covert kings, over covert leaders, over anyone covetous assigned against your life. In the name of Jesus, you have received your deliverance. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Wave at the Lord amen. wherever you are and say thank you, Father. Open your mouth. Give him thanks. Bible says the 10 lepers, the one that went back to give thanks was what made whole. As 
Say thank you and be made whole. Receive you, your testimony you, right even before you leave this life. Hallelujah. Divine solution service. Divine solution service. Receive your testimony right now. Please share, share, share. Next time you come on the line, share, 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 share the link. In the name of Jesus, I see Brother Alex. God bless you. Divine solution service. In the name of Jesus, divine solution service oh yes lord thank you father thank you lord in jesus mighty name hallelujah if you haven't sent your tithes yet please uh you can whatsapp it you can cash up it and we have what you call uh push pay if you have any questions you can call 917-603-3202 917-603-3202 god bless you have you been blessed? Amen. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Have you been blessed? Amen. 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 God is good. All, All the, the time. time. All the time. God, God is good. Is good.